Jay Christian asked about fuel planning in the F-16. And unfortunately the answer, like so many answers is it depends. Typically a thousand pounds is normal recovery. 800 pounds is min fuel and 600 pounds is emergency fuel. Bump those numbers up by 200 pounds if you're in a different block of airplane. It all depends on your configuration for that day. If you're flying around with a whole bunch of stores hanging off the jet, you actually need more fuel on board just for your standard patterns and landings. So a go around might only cost 200 pounds of gas in a clean F-16, but in an F-16 with a whole bunch of things hanging off it, it might be 300 or even 400 pounds. It depends on the weather that day. If you have to plan for a divert or an alternate, if the weather is questionable, remember you're in a single seat, single engine jet, and there are only certain airfields that you can land at. So there might be a runway right next door to yours that you can't actually account for in your planning. So fuel planning is an integral part of mission planning. And we always use the terminology target backwards. So we start at whatever the target is for the day and we work all the way backwards for a successful mission. Now for fuel planning, where we start at is landing. And then we go backwards through the sortie all the way to the target area that included the fuel to get home, then all the fuel to ingress, then all the fuel that you might use for an air to air engagement, how much afterburner you're planning to use, what altitude you're flying at, what speed you're flying at, what your configuration is. Even in a training mission, if you mess up the fuel planning, you're having a bad day. In combat, you're having an even worse day. We always say you're either saving fuel or you're flying tactically, but there is no in between. You never want to be wasting fuel. So yeah, a thousand pounds is typical recovery fuel, but in my experience, we would only usually land at a thousand pounds on a clear VFR day. If we're out in a clean F-16, maybe we're doing a training ride, flying BFM or something. Those are the days where you usually come back with a thousand pounds. Most other days, you're coming back with a little more fuel than that. And if your home base is a single runway base, you have to plan on your own wingman taking the cable in front of you and now you have to divert somewhere else. So there are a lot of different factors that go into this. That is a great question. And if you have more questions like this about flying the F-16, hit me up in the comments or send me a DM and I'll do my best to answer them.